Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, who is your unsung hero? Who's that person that you go, wow, I want to be like him or her? Uh, See, mine is in the scripture for today. We're continuing our story of the crucifixion of Jesus as we're getting ready for Easter. And Matthew 27, beginning at verse 57 says, when it was evening, this is a evening of the crucifixion. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. And he went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. And Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there sitting opposite the tomb. Joseph of Arimathea, he's my unsung hero. He's mentioned four times in the Bible, once in each of the four Gospels at exactly the same moment, the moment of Jesus' death and burial. And uh, we know from all the accounts that Joseph of Arimathea was a rich man. He was um, uh, part of the Sanhedrin. He was a Pharisee. Uh, He and Nicodemus were buddies because Nicodemus helped him uh, do this. But he went to Pilate and he asked for the body, which was really risky being a Pharisee and part of the Sanhedrin. And, uh, And he placed Jesus in his tomb and sealed it up. The women were watching so they could come back and anoint Jesus' body after the Sabbath. Now, uh, what's the big deal about that? Well, uh, this is huge. Because without Joseph's gift, there is no resurrection of Jesus from the dead. I'm not saying Jesus wouldn't rise from the dead. I'm just saying we wouldn't have known about it. You see, what they normally did with uh, deceased criminals is they threw them on the trash heap, you know, the trash dump. They threw the bodies there and they let the birds and the animal scavengers just go at the body and nobody would know where it was, and, and that's just how they would end because they were you know, people without respect. But because Joseph put Jesus' body in his tomb and sealed it up, we know that Easter happened. Joseph, Joseph literally set the stage for Easter because then they're going to come back to the tomb, they're going to find the stone rolled away, they're going to find the tomb empty, they're going to see Jesus, and all of that happens because this guy that we only hear about once in each gospel gives his tomb to Jesus. Now, uh, so my encouragement to you is be an unsung hero. Don't worry about everybody knowing about everything that you do. Do what you can to serve Jesus. Do what you can to bless people in Jesus' name. I mean, maybe it's a ministry to the lonely, the grieving, the broken. I mean, maybe you're just going to go visit people who nobody else goes and visits, and you're going to love them and pray for them. Or maybe... It's serving in a ministry to children and teens, you know, the place that seems like nobody wants to work, and yet we desperately need people to work, to love our children and our teens. Or maybe it's just giving an extravagant monetary gift to the ministry of Calvary, because God's blessed you, and you don't know what else to do, and you've got more money than you can spend, and so you want ministry to happen in Jesus' name, and you just go, hey, I'm going to be like Joseph, and I'm going to give my own tomb or my own possessions to bless Jesus. See, Joseph did what he could, and God used it in a magnificent way in our redemption story. So what can you do for God that he can use in a magnificent way in the ongoing redemption story of Jesus? I hope that encourages you and blesses you. Have a great day.